All right, everyone, I'm putting together this video as a list of 13 items that I've identified that you would think about before you buy your Tesla and to do as you're waiting on your Tesla to show up. As always, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button because it really, really helps the channel out a lot. And if you're looking to buy a Tesla, which is probably why you're watching this video, don't forget to use a referral link. I have one listed below that will get you a thousand miles of free supercharging. If you already know somebody use theirs, it really helps the community out a lot to use a referral link. Uh, but again, I have one below if you need if you need one. All right, so let's get right into it. Number seven, tires and wheels. You're getting an electric car. And you've probably heard that the torque in an electric car is instant. And if you haven't heard that, the torque in an electric car is instant. And if you don't know what torque is, that's what gives you all your power off the line. Now, horsepower gets you going when you get kind of going, but that torque is all that power that if you've ever floored the car, that's what really pulls you back in your seat. So there's a lot of people who get confused on what they're actually getting. I had BMWs for years, back a long time ago, that came with those low profile skinny tires. And those tires just don't last. And they didn't last on my BMW. They're not gonna last on anything. You might get on average 10 to 20,000 miles out of those tires. Now, I've known people who've gotten the Performance Model 3, and don't get me wrong, they love it, but they get in there and they just floor it everywhere they go. And I know somebody who burned up a rear set of Model 3 tires in 8,000 miles. 8,000 miles, the tires were gone. These are low profile tires. They are meant for grip and traction, not long distance, grip and traction. Now there are options out there that you can maybe get a different tire compound or et cetera. Like, I think I eventually found some low profile tires on my BMWs that started lasting me 18 to 20,000 miles instead of like 12,000 miles, but you will go through tires. You need to you need to think about I need to rotate these tires. Hear me on this because what you think you're buying is this little four-door sedan family car. But what's hidden in the guts of this thing is this thing. Like it's all this crazy supercar power hiding inside this four-door looking machine. Like, you think you're getting this, but you're getting under the covers something like this. Like, you're getting, especially in the performance model, like, you're, you're, you're going to smoke Lamborghinis. Like, Corvettes, you'll come up to the line and you'll just freaking eat them. Boom! I mean, that thing is fast, okay? Fast. You need to think about that with tires. It's one of the reasons why the Model 3 Stealth a lot of people are liking because they get the performance, but they get the smaller rim, which allows you to get a more all-season tire, and so the tires will last longer. Now, there are people out there who just don't care. They want the look of this guy. They love it. They love the grip, of the, and they, they don't care if they have to put new tires on it every 10 to 20,000 miles. It, it, Dude, if that's you, go for it. And there's going to be some people who are going to comment on this thing and be like, nah, man, I've got these low-profile tires, and they last uh, 90 million miles. Good for you. I'm glad you found the unicorn of tires out there that last forever. Like, that's great. I don't do low-profile tires anymore. I can't stand changing tires very often. Just not my thing. I got these tires for the Model X because they came with all-season tires, which are, you know, they're rated to last a lot longer over these. Now, these also look fantastic, but if you're looking at getting a Model X, these 22-inch Onyx Black Turbine wheels have a rougher ride, they'll reduce your range, and you're going to be putting tires on it all the time. Do they look cool? Yes, they look amazing. Would it be great if Tesla offered a black wheel? They do. You can buy it aftermarket. It's $5,500. So if you don't want to spend $5,500, I know a lot of people and what they're doing is they're going ahead with these rims on like their Model S's, their Model X's, or even like the Model 3, depending on what they want. I didn't know this before I bought my car because I really wanted black and I just didn't want to spend the money on it. But now that I bought the car, I found out 
you can get your rims powder coated for like three to six hundred dollars depending on where you take it and they will look you can pick whatever color you want and i plan on getting my wheels done and they're going to be they're going to look like this they won't be 22s but i'll still have this size using all seasons and i get the black rim and it's cheaper than paying five thousand dollars to tesla for the same rim so i'm gonna do that because that's totally worth it to me and it's a lot cheaper all right that's all 13 items again thanks for listening don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel it really helps me out a lot i'll probably divide this video up into clips um but i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you enjoy your tesla don't forget to again don't forget to use a referral link and if you got any questions leave comments below i do try to answer them as quickly as i can but i'll catch you in the next one